Hi guys, how are you? My name is One Titanium. Welcome back. Let's do another one of these videos where we debunk MMT bullshit. Um, so, government debt equals private sector savings. Okay, and this is the way that MMT likes to to connect the um, uh, the sectoral balances, the magical sectoral balances that are going to make us all rich and enable us to print as much money as we can and as we want so we can become rich as if nobody else has ever tried that or, and hyperinflated. No, 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 that that's never happened before. Uh, so we're going to try another way to do it because now we have verbiage that says private uh, government debt equals private sector assets. And one of the, the most favorite words that they like to use is by accounting identity identity accounting identity it forces the that this is true all right so let's use the same accounting identity and the same sectoral balances and i showed you this in previous videos where household income debt savings must equal profit savings for business so if again, if you look at if you start from profits and, and work your way back, okay, you have to figure out where the household got money. And that's very important because you cannot have money. You cannot have a profit. Business cannot have a profit unless household has sufficient amount of discretionary income to uh, buy the goods and services businesses produce. It's just, you know, so where is the money coming from? Well, we know deficits have been as much as 10% of GDP and 7% and 5% and 2% and now it's 3, 4, going back up again. So by accounting identity and the sector of balances, household income to savings must equal uh, in, uh, profit savings, profit savings, for businesses it cannot be any other way they cannot you cannot have a profit any other way all right so and we know that savings is uh, going to go into investment it's going to push up asset prices as we said in previous videos so let me show you that before i go and show you this i'm going to talk about um, this guy egmont which we came across and and this guy gets it okay he, he he articulated it a lot better than i did i called it a savings bulb when he, he articulated it a lot better than i did with profits so what does it say the national debt is not simply national savings it's rather a liability of we the people and an asset of we the olig oligarchy and that's exactly what i'm showing you so the agenda he's saying uh, is uh, to, to push money for the oligarchy. That's the whole point of MMT. That's what it does. It creates inequality with deficits because that's how inequality um, was was created in the first place, right? They, they had trickle-down economics, which did what? It increased the amount of deficits and then it went into savings and created uh, asset price inflation. Same thing now if you deficit spend, right? We're going to give you $300 and then we're going to we're going to get $1,500 for the top uh, 5% while you think you're getting a deal at $300. So if if we increase deficits and it goes, you know, $550 billion for a job guarantee, another $1.2 trillion for a Green New Deal, and then uh, another uh, health care is going to be another uh, one. 0.1 trillion per year and then another trillion that we're spending now and then free college and free this and free that and before you know it we're up to 4 trillion gdp right now is 22 trillion whatever the hell it is so now we end up with what 20 percent uh, annual uh deficits okay we're going to be spending four trillion dollars just poop here you go all the money's for you but as we know now that's not the way it works okay so when you look at the asset, this is asset price inflation here, okay? In the real economy, there's no inflation. So you look at the the uh, the S and P 500, for example, right in here, which is the highest one. It's up 400 plus percent, okay? Uh, world stock market index is, is up 200 percent. Uh, I'll show you real estate now. Here's K. Schiller uh, consumer price index, okay? Home prices, right in here. This is the blue one. So what happened? Asset price inflation in real estate. Again, we're getting the same thing. Consumer price index is, you know, rising normally. 
So where, where's all this money coming from to, to have all this asset price inflation in real estate? And we, we talked about bonds, right? Bonds are 2.5%. Why? Because when you buy bonds, the price goes up of the bond and the yield comes down. Right, so for 40 years, 30 years, whatever it's been, they've been telling you, oh, you know, this is a, a, a bond bubble, a bond bubble. How can it be a bond? It cannot be a bond bubble, when you have all those dollars in savings, okay? Or they got to go somewhere, and and the only four asset classes you have is stock, bonds, commodities, and real estate. So that's all. That, th- th- there's no other choice. You can't go on Mars and start investing in Mars, okay? So where where does the money go? Well, it goes into asset price inflation, which is what I've been telling you, and what Egmont has been telling you as well. So the bright idea uh, for MMTers is, hey, you know, we're going to give you a fake job guarantee where you just kind of show up, punch the clock, create moral hazard. Everybody can be lazy. No one produces anything because you can't compete with the private sector. That's the whole point, right? And then and then where are those dollars going to go? Where are they going to go to the top uh, 5%? So you have Natasha Kelton sitting here, you know, all day long tweeting, you know, their red ink is our, is, is our black ink. It's our savings. Right? No, <laughs> it cannot be. That is impossible by accounting identity. Okay? Household income to savings equals business profit savings that ends up in investment and um, asset price inflation, which I just showed you. This is not a myth. It's not something that I just, you know, created out of blue air, uh, thin air. That's the way it is. It, it, that's what the data is telling you. There's no inflation in the productive economy because the, the money is flowing so fast from government deficits to the top 5%, and that money is flowing into asset prices, that you end up with this inequality, and it's only going to get worse. So what is MMT, the, the, the cult, the magic money tree worshippers telling you? Well, you know, we can fix inequality by pouring gasoline on a fire. That's what they're telling you. We're just going to increase deficits, and voila. Well, you can't do that because the only way you can fix inequality is if households start buying the debt, which is, is not going to happen. They're not going to have the savings because if they start saving, if the productive saving, uh, productive economy start, starts to save, that's a drain on the economy, right? So what happens? The economy collapses. You need them to keep purchasing and buying and consuming and producing, okay? They're not – just because you increase deficits – the household or the workfare uh, uh, fake job players, right? What are they going to do? They're going to go out and buy bonds to fund those deficits? Of course not. Where is the money going to go? It's going to go into the top 5% in savings. And then they're going to go and buy the bonds. So as the bonds keep increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing, what's happening? The top 5% are becoming richer and richer and richer. That's inequality. U.S. total debt, S&P 500. I've been showing you this chart. I don't know how clear you can see it on videos, but you can see the correlation. It's right there. It's right in front of you. It's not. It's not a secret. It's not something that nobody understands. They, they understand it. Believe me. They're just trying to, you know, fool you into wanting more of the same thing. And then by the time you figure it out, oh wait, this is creating inequality. Well, fuck. It's too late. Good luck. And and just to show you how crazy it is, this guy uh, Neil. He is the um, the head of the Minneapolis Fed, and he and he tweeted this, and he just really just fucking blew them out of the uh, out of the water. He says, "MMT should launch a diet plan. Eat whatever you want: cheeseburgers, pizza, ice cream, and never gain weight. It will be a very popular." So, step one: eat whatever you want. Step two: stop eating before you gain weight. By definition, it should work. This is this is essentially what the MMT is saying. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, and, and people are falling for it. And that's that's the funny part. They're falling for it. So don't, you know, don't get fooled. Be smart. Um, really start to understand what MMT is all about. And this voodoo bullshit in economics, uh, just throw it out the window. Seriously. Believe me, nothing would make me happier if that, if what MMT said was true. Nothing would cure poverty, we can have free uh, everything, we don't have to go to work as much, we can just eat as much as we want, and then just, you know, right before we gain weight, stop eating. It's just, you know, it's beautiful. Doesn't work like that. So that's it for this video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.